Guys, I'm back and I'm better than I was in this previous episode, which was like two minutes ago because I recorded it <laughs> a few minutes ago. But to y'all, it's a whole nother week. So, you know, anywho, great. I'm feeling good. I'm excited. Um, we are very much close to the end of the road. Yeah. But before we get into it, y'all know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, turn post notification, bell on if you're new. What's up? If you have already been with us and you already subscribed, glad to have you back. But you know, yeah, make sure you have that post notification bell on so y'all notify when I upload videos. Yeah. So we're going to be continuing our Healing Diary series. And I'm excited because we're close to being done. Today we are talking about self care. And the actual funny thing is, on the onset of the series, I started talking. Why did I just say series like that? The series, the series, um, was self love and self worth and self value. I may have mentioned self care in that episode, but self care needs to have its own episode because when I say self care, I am not thinking of what y'all are thinking of right now in this moment. I know y'all are thinking about my hair, my nails, my toes, a massage. No. I mean, yes, but no, that's self maintenance, truly, that's self maintenance. But like question, how does self care? Like, what does that even mean when it comes to healing? A lot, you know, caring for yourself. Let's break it down. Care, <laughs> self, <laughs> care for yourself. The things that people think about when they think of self care is maintenance. You have to do something different. Like you're doing something physically, which is, it, that's a part of it. But the main root of self-care through this journey because it's a journey there's gonna be days where you are up and you're feeling good there's days gonna be when you're feeling low and those days when you're feeling low that's when you really want to care on yourself yeah mm -hmm. when people think of self-love they think of self-love as like self-care but i think those are two different things self-love is a lot more than just obviously loving on yourself yes but you know that's why that episode was self-worth your value those things are an extension of your self-love and i think self-care is an extension as well of self-love as well but they're two different types of ways of which you would show up for yourself but it's self-love versus self-care and let's talk about it when it comes to healing because i would say self-care is like pouring into your own cup really caring for yourself mentally physically emotionally spiritually um did I say physically? I think I did. I think physically, emotionally, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, all the leads at the end, pour into yourself. And, you know, really evaluate which areas of that, depending on which one it is, do you feel like you're lacking or need to provide more attention to? But when it comes to healing, I think that is important to, to, to be mindful of your emotions, your mental, your physical, and your spiritual because keeping root in those and having a great foundation in that really helps you through healing and I say that because at the beginning of my healing journey before I was even being intentional with my healing um because I learned about intentional healing in the process of actually healing which happened after I started this actual series so in the middle of me in the series um uploading episodes and things was when I was like okay I need to be more intentional with this healing because what I'm doing now is not helping me out like it's doing something but it's not it's gonna it's gonna keep me in this cycle and I need to get out this cycle so I feel like when you are mindful of the physical your your body so like how are you taking care of your body and how is your body being affected through your healing journey your healing process because depressiveness right when you're depressed you can either you know overeat so now you're gaining a lot of weight or you can lose weight because you're starving yourself you can be like stressing out like your your hair is falling out your skin is you know getting acne you feeling weak you feeling depleted of energy because you are allowing this healing process to really consume you so that's where self-care comes in at let me really care for my body let me make sure i'm eating let me make sure i'm drinking water let me make sure i'm getting enough rest let me make sure i am taken care of and i'm actually pouring into myself physically metaphorically and literally you know what i'm saying and with your emotions how are you feeling throughout this experience and just throughout your days in general are you actually embodying your emotions? Are you embracing your emotions? Are you allowing yourself to feel those emotions? Or this is where it's not self-care for when it comes to your emotions, you are trying to push into the back burner. That's what I was doing at the very beginning. 
I would feel some type of way and I'll be like, girl, no, it does not bother you that much. Why? And it was really because it did bother me. So it's like, I was so bothered that I was trying to act like I wasn't bothered. And it just made it worse. It made it so much worse. Cause now I'm sticking, I'm, I'm trying to push aside this emotion that I'm feeling. And because I'm trying to act like it's not there, and it's very much like this big elephant in the room, it was affecting me, my physical, spiritual, mental. Because I'm mentally now, my mind is just gonna, it's gonna come up in your dreams. It's gonna come up some way, somehow. It's just, whatever it is that you are pushing away, it's gonna come back in some way because energy is not destroyed, it just gets transferred. So you may try to remove it that way emotionally by subsiding your emotions. Okay, well now it's gonna be transferred to your physical. Now you're feeling depleted of energy or you're feeling weak or you you feel like you wanna emotionally eat. You know what I'm saying? Which is what I was doing as well. I was doing a lot of that. So if I start feeling a certain emotion, I'll try to act like the emotion's not there. But that emotion already triggered me. So like now I'm like, oh. I, what I would feel like alone or something like that or no one cares, comfort food. Let me eat something that makes me feel warm or, or make me feel, you know, full inside or something like that so once i started being intentional with my healing i was also being intentional with how i was caring for myself physically going outside making sure i'm out it's important to be outside and to get outside and and to you know get in the sun spend time in nature don't be don't feel so stuck to your environment i'm a homebody by nature like i love to be inside my space my own environment i love being inside the house but now i've learned through my healing journey, but also through my spiritual journey as well, mainly my spiritual journey where I'm like, yeah, I need to be outside more, I need to be more in tune with nature. And you know, I, I, I when I don't feel good, self care kicks in, I get up, I go take a walk outside. And I go outside, I feel the air, I feel the breeze, I look at the trees, I, I talk to the trees, I've been talking to the trees. I know people probably looking at me when I'm talking to the trees, like, what the fuck is she doing? Talking to the damn tree, something that you should be doing it's gonna help you and it's gonna make you feel good i talk to the sun i talk out loud i talk to nature i talk to the earth i talk to the universe i talk to god god your spirituality or religion whatever you call it, you know whatever it is for you for me spirituality um caring for yourself in that area are you praying or are you really getting in tune with yourself because i feel like your relationship with god is a direct reflection of your relationship with yourself so through my healing i was not really having such a proactive relationship with God because I wasn't having much of a proactive relationship with myself in a way that was really healthy and intentional until I started being intentional with my healing and intentional with how I was caring for myself. And that is still something I am so actively still working on is figuring out ways and, and being more, putting more attention towards and energy towards my relationship with myself and also my relationship with God, my emotions, all of these things that I've talked about in this entire series I'm not gonna sit on this screen and tell y'all that I have mastered it all. No, baby, I am a work in progress and I am still learning as I grow. I am so, I'm mastering the art of learning versus mastering the art itself. Cause when you master the art of learning, that allows you to master the art. So because I'm mastering the art of learning, of holding myself accountable, practicing myself worth my value, releasing control, reclaiming my power, really caring for myself, um, holding myself accountable, being accepting of my reality, all of the different things that I talked about in this entire series, I'm actively every single day. That's where the intentional healing really is. It's being intentional with your healing journey, your healing process, and just life. You know, your healing journey, it, it's gonna trans, it's gonna transmute, transmute itself into just life and how you live your life. And, you know, I've learned that when I am a lot more intentional with how I am caring for myself. And yes, some some days self-care is actually, let me go get a massage or let me, um, you know, do my hair, do my makeup. Like my previous episode, I was just all over the place. So I was super happy and I felt good because I care for myself. Like I got up, I did my makeup and I liked it. And I like my hair, I like how I look, I like how I feel. You know what I'm saying? Getting my nails done. Like sometimes that is what self-care is. However, I personally don't think that's, like that's a good 10% of it all. 90% of it is how you are literally caring for yourself mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. Those four different components and aspects of your life is your root foundation. I'm telling you, one's off, they're all off. And you can probably lean on one more than the other, but it is, you, you wanna make sure you're being intentional in all areas of your life. So, 
especially when you're healing and i and the thing is i haven't even talked about super traumatic things that you can be healing from um as people i mainly focus on like relationships and stuff like that but caring for yourself depending on other what things you could be healing from is is going to probably be like your number one you want to make sure you really are caring for yourself and loving loving on yourself right as well as um i feel like self-care is also just being gentle with yourself too giving yourself grace in the room to mess up and know that i am a work in progress right i am healing and not healed i'm learning i'm a master of learning and implementing all of these things and being intentional that allows you so much room to grow and it allows you the space to not beat yourself up when you do probably double back you know or you do allow your emotions to really get the best of you in whatever that time or something triggers you and it's like damn you know what you finna get this heat right now because today ain't the day where i'm gonna be uh you know i'm gonna think before i do something i'm just gonna do it and that's fine that's a part of your journey it's a part of life we are not perfect you know but we can be intentional with how we do things and allow yourself room to make mistakes allow yourself room to grow allow yourself the space and the grace to just be and know that i don't have to have it all together all the time and my healing journey isn't this perfect aesthetic where it's like yeah i've done all these things so moving forward it's gonna be great it's gonna be rainbows and roses no it is not you're gonna still cry you're gonna still feel triggered you're gonna still have those emotions and that's where you need to be intentional with caring for those emotions embodying those emotions acknowledging them accepting that you still feel some type of way i was having a hard time with that like girl why do you still care why do you still allow why are these why are things still triggering you about this you know this one situation or thing that you thought you healed from and it's like because it does accepting that and uh, allowing myself the grace to embody the emotion and say you know what i still care and that's fine but i'm gonna uh, be intentional and care for myself this time around and, and instead of trying to put someone else before me or the thing or whatever right and then yeah i feel like the main point of it all when it comes to healing is taking it one day at a time don't feel rushed to again have it all together and all figured out and think okay i'm healing oh i learned what my traumas are what i'm healing from or what my triggers could be i've learned the role that i play the role that other people's played and I've, I've been able to acknowledge and hold myself accountable in these areas and things like that i'm more loving of myself really embodying my self-worth and value I'm exercising these boundaries you have to take everything day at a time <laughs> so not to each like every not two days are gonna look the same truly one day you may do real good on you know acknowledging your triggers that day or, or your emotions or you can revisit the, the scenario the thing that you're healing from and not you know uh, you not feel attacked or feel affected by it like oh okay i'm a step closer because now it's not triggering me to start crying or something like that and then the next day you may wake up and you're crying about the exact same thing that you didn't cry about the day before so take it one day at a time that's what i had to do and that is what i'm currently doing one day at a time one step at a time that's the song i think that's jordan sparks song but one step at a time one day at a time don't try to rush this journey y'all because you're, you're always healing you are so there is no okay i'm healed i'm fully healed yeah no baby you're experiencing life every day and we experience life at a, at a rapid pace i feel like so one step at a time one day at a time care for yourself emotionally physically mentally spiritually okay care for your inner child care for yourself and that version of you that experienced that thing that you've healed from or that you're healing from correction yeah that's what this is all about y'all self-care the other things is fine the self-maintenance is a part of it you want to make sure you are eating drinking that's fueling your body keeping your hygiene up that's a part of it as well um but when you're intentional with the other areas that's what really helps you keep yourself in that energy of I'm gonna drink water today. I'm gonna eat today. I'm gonna make sure, you know, I wash up. Cause when you're in the depressive state, sometimes you don't wanna wash up. Sometimes you just wanna sit in bed and just dwell. And if you wanna do that on the day, that's fine. Then you can. 
give yourself the grace and the space to do that be gentle with yourself really care for yourself and your emotions so that's what this episode is you guys we are we're yeah we're there the next episode will be the final one and that would conclude our healing diary series so i've been ex very excited recording these episodes and i really pray that they are beneficial to those whoever needs to hear it and whoever can take something from it and whoever feels that it is helping them in some way whether it's one minute out of the 20 minutes of me talking or 16 minutes of me talking whatever that's all that matters you know so yes i thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see y'all in our next and final episode 